harvest right. Yay! What size did you get? I got the medium harvest right. Hello and welcome back to life in every season. Hope you guys are having a good day. We actually have some sunshine. We did have rain earlier. Um, but what I have for you today is something that we have been wanting for a long time and I finally was able to pick it up today. So let's go check out what I have in the back of my car. By the way, our neighbors are doing some heavy equipment work, so if you hear noise in the background, that's what that is. I'm gonna open the door. Here it is. My harvest right! Yay! What size did you get? I got the medium harvest right. Well, I got this at Tractor Supply. Um, and we will be unboxing it later for you, but uh, we've been wanting one of these for most of this season and <laughs> part of last season, but uh, they had them at our tractor supply here in eastern Tennessee, and it was actually um, a very good price. We, we saved about uh, 130-ish, somewhere around there, um, picking it up through them, and it comes with the pump, mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, and a sealer for the bags and oil for the pump. So once we get this out of the car and in the house and set up, we'll bring it along for the ride and we'll probably try something either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, I get the job of unloading, but Kelly had the folks at Tractor Supply and she helped a little bit to load this. And since she's hurting a little, she's hurting a little bit, I am going to try to unload this as much as I can by myself. I thought there's, now I, I don't know what's inside this, with the pumps in there, I thought I would try to get rid of as much packaging as possible. There's a second box in the car. I think the pump yeah, and I everything is in it. Yeah, this box Kelly was just talking about there was a bottom. It didn't feel like there was a bottom of the box. That packaging has come loose. So I'm going to scoot it out here on my ramp. I did is I'll slide it down and then I will use this because we've got five or six steps in the house. So let me move this down. It was a good day It's for her to pick it up. Even though we got some now, we have had thunderstorms and rain. Okay, I ended up cutting the box off. It was being a pain and there was, you could feel the feet. It was well packaged. Um, plenty of foam around it and then the box. So it was well packaged. There's no dents in the metal. I am just going to ease it down these ramps then I'm going to put it on a hand cart this is what was on the bottom somehow this was attached to the box mm -hmm. it's not now solo to some of you might be working alone Kelly's back and her hip and knees have been bothering her, so I'm going to see how much I can do without trying to pester her for help I will be willing to help at any time I know you will but I helped that little girl get it in the car <laughs> I know you did I told you not to uh, let's see Let's go low with this. Let's go under the door. Because I believe 
it's a hundred and ten, 115 pounds. So a little more than I want to pick up by myself, even if I even if I could pick it up, I don't think I can. I can slide it. The girl at Tractor Supply said she's loaded these things by herself. Well, she's younger than me. She is. She's probably stronger than me, too. <laughs> she's stronger than me, that's for sure. So we've got it. All right. We'll see you guys on the inside. Oh, you see the steps I've got to navigate. We'll get it on the concrete pad and reposition and retighten. We'll see if we can get it into the house without any damage. All right, we're going to show you our attempt to get the harbor straight up on what was the craft table. <laughs> We, we'll probably put it someplace else, but uh, later. But we're going to show you how we're going to move it and slide it. For those of you who have bad backs, find yourself alone and you need to move something, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, we'll keep the video on. All right, so that was a success. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. So that was success. We slid. Did you hurt yourself? No. I didn't hurt myself. It's a little awkward. Uh -huh. We got it up here. It's over a base cabinet. Yes. Right here. So that's supported. Tops plenty thick. So uh -huh. we're going to try to hook it up. Uh, we're going to need to go read some instructions first, though. So we'll get back <laughs> with you. Here's the box with all the extra fun things in it. We think there's a bag sealer, a pump. The trays are in here. So, we got lots of reading there material. We so, we got vacuum pump. pump. The oil filtration system. Okay. Um, Impulse sealer, that's that sealer for the food. Okay. We've got oxygen absorbers. And this Could box be. was 25 pounds or so. Easy, yeah. And then we've got the bags and we've got the drain hose <laughs> and we've got our trays. Trays, they look good. Yep, so far. They're dense. All right. Not All right, we'll turn this off and start reading directions now that we found where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the pump that came with it. And in order to use this, a few things have to happen before we run our first real food run through this. We've got to put oil in it. Um, it came with a bottle of oil. Uh, it's a premium high vacuum pump oil. And as you can see right here, there's a little um, minimum, maximum, and we're supposed to fill that up to the in between to in between and we're going to run it for one minute and what that does is it coats all of the goody parts inside with oil which is what we want then and we'll recheck the, hmm? then we'll recheck the level to then, see yes. if it needs a little more to top yeah, it off we'll check that again because it can use a little bit of the oil and Bruce is going to talk me through this because I don't change oil. I don't do none of this stuff. Yeah, she can do it. This is mineral oil, so it's not, uh, it's, it's clear and it's lightweight. But I put these hoses on from the pump to the harvester, right? And I also went ahead and um, will plug the, um, the pump into the back. That way it'll run with the harvest right. But right now we got it plugged in a different socket so we can do the one minute, move the oil around, then recheck the level. And lastly, I put the drain hose is um, onto the, <clears throat> the little barb fitting there. 
you drain this after you run it. So that's a big question I had. So you drain it after you run a cycle because you'll actually close the, uh, the, valve. the valve so that it will get, otherwise you got an open, um, <clears throat> it's open and it won't get as cold as it needs to be. I'm, oops, about stepped on a cat. And you won't get the vacuum that you need. Right, so we're going to add the oil. So I'm going to unscrew this top cap because yep. that's where it goes in, correct? That is correct. There were two things on this uh, warning label. Mm -hmm. One was to always keep this pump level. Correct. And the other was uh, when in operation, keep this valve open. So you've got uh, an O-ring that, that will set back on this lid. There you go. I will. I do have a funnel. I don't I'm going to hold it. Yeah, it kind for, of just. See if I can film and hold. I can hold it. I got it. You got it? I got it. I think I've got it. I think we've been told it takes about three uh I'll let her do it. it takes about three quarters of the uh, bottle to get it halfway full. We'll just take our time. We'll delete this and get to the end to show you how much our cat is helping. See, Libby's here on the floor helping us, standing right at our feet. Aren't you, Libby? I'm not even seeing any of it. Go. All right. Is that good enough? I would put that funnel right back in there for right now. The on-off switch is in the back. Do we have to put this lid yes, back on? Yes, we do have okay. to put the lid back on. The gasket is... In its, in its little doodah. In its position. See, it goes in right there. Yep. A, and then you just try to do it easy so it spins. We know it's not cross threaded. Wonderful. How tight? Hand tight. Okay. That's good. Keep your fingers crossed, folks. I found the switch. Okay. Quiet. It is quiet. So we'll let this go a minute and recheck the level. Top off the oil if it needs to be. Clean up our little drops of mineral oil. The setup is, I mean, once you do it, I think you could do the whole thing in five minutes. Yeah. You've got to add oil, put your <laughs> vacuum hose connections, get your power cord to the harvest right, uh, plug your pump electric into the back put your little drain hose on and that's really it we're got the pump filled with oil had it cycled through so it's ready to go we're getting ready to do the bread run um, this is basically to take the new smell out of the machine so we've just got some frozen old frozen bread that we were probably gonna throw away anyway and we've sprayed it down with a mixture of water and vinegar. And we're gonna put this in here and run it through a cycle. And that'll take some of that new functioning smell, whatever, out of the machine. So as you can see, we've got these in here. And, all right, they're in. All right. That is locked. All right. So now I'm going to read the instructions. <laughs> All right. From the startup, press start. The first time you use your freeze dryer, the next screen will prompt you to choose which type of vacuum pump. Uh, what type of vacuum it's pump? Premier. The Premier. Okay. So we'll start. The middle one, Premier oil pump. Yeah. Save. Oh, wait 15 minutes before loading trays. Cancel. All right, let's start over. 
Okay. okay. I'm going to press start. It already saved what pump we have. So we'll come back in 15 minutes, load the trays, and go from there. Yep. And we will probably just end this here for this. We'll, we'll do the bread. Yes, we will do the bread. And then where we'll go try first. Eggs. So we're going to try eggs, so it'll be a couple days. Mm -hmm. We'll get back. We'll hopefully learn how to run this a little better, but we're... You know what's coming in season? Blueberries, where I work at, I work at a farm, a seasonal farm, and, and I do administrative work for them, but our blueberries are coming in next week. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Mm -hmm. Ooh, so excited. We've wanted this for so long. I'm so happy. What do you, you think guys are happy for us. <laughs> what do you think about the noise? It's not bad. I mean, even if our granddaughter was in here sleeping, it would be like a white noise. Yeah, I would say it's about... Here, we'll get you close. Yeah. To me, I would say it's about like a box fan yeah. on medium. Or maybe an air conditioner, like a window unit. A window unit. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a little noisy, but it's not... It's not... You don't need earplugs. It's not obnoxious. No. Yeah. No. So, okay, well, we will come back and see you guys on our next run when we get ready to do this. Hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Thank you for stopping by Life in Every Season. Bye. Bye.